every three years, governments, scientists and conservationists come together to discuss what they can do to protect threatened species. Trade in more than 35,000 species is already limited, if not banned. But as the world's population grows and the effects of climate change become more pronounced, thousands more plants and animals come under threat. At the meeting, governments increased protection for the South African rhino. They've put pressure on Mozambique, a major transit point for rhino horns, and also on Vietnam, the major importer. They've also moved to protect five species of sharks. A permit system will now control the trade in their fins. Bad news, though, for those hoping for trade sanctions against countries engaged in the ivory trade. Instead, all countries will have to report their stockpiles of ivory, and nine countries have been given a year to improve enforcement. They are putting in place measures for traceability, for putting in place new measures like controlled deliveries. This is a technique used in combating narcotics that allows you to find the kingpin. The parties here have actually focused on the ground. What framework do we need to provide further support to people serving in the front line? But conservationists say anything short of a global ban creates uncertainty, which is exploited by poachers and traders. You need a ban when it comes to highly endangered species. That sends a very clear signal that there should be no hunting or trade. Unfortunately, there's still a lot of fuzziness regarding many of these species. So I do think CITES fell short. The delegates also agreed to restrict the trade in Siam rosewood. But like all other species listed under the convention, the actual job of stopping the illegal trade now falls on individual countries. There's a right of nations to have stricter domestic measures than CITES and I think it's up to them to use that, you know, effectively. Of course some nations are not going to do it, but if a lot more can, I think that, that would be a, a, a great deal of progress. Countries now have 18 months to introduce new measures to protect five species of sharks. But as with many threatened species, conservationists say enforcement is just a first step. Countries also need to find ways of reducing the demand for the animals and animal products. And only that can ensure their long-term survival. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.